Yeah, because I look like a Justin Timberlake kind of guy. Good evening! How's it going? All right, all right. I've done, a, <laughs> I've done a few shows here at Flappers now and kind of become a regular. But this one's kind of special. The reason why it's special is because my big brother is in the audience. So over there, stand up. Fonzie, stand up. Yeah. This lady's like, that's not special. I see my brother all the time. Well, he just got out of prison, so. Um, yeah, it is special, right? Thank you. He just got out of prison, I'm gonna make fun of him. <laughs> it's true, I'm gonna make fun of him. But uh, it's okay, I asked his permission, we talked about it, I was like, look, Fonz, this is great material. You gotta let me run with it. So we negotiated. I gave him some cup of noodles, cigarettes, other guy. <laughs> Things of really high value in the prison stock marketplace. And he was like, fuck yeah, let's do this, man. So yeah, I was a little nervous right before he got out because he was gonna come live with me. Uh, but it's been really cool. Actually, I like living with him because he does everything I tell him to do. <laughs> He's so used to taking orders. The other day we were watching a movie. The lights started to bother me, so I turned them off. And then all of a sudden, like he just gets up and goes straight to bed. It was the most random thing. He's like this, he's like, lights out, lights out, oh shit, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go to bed, I gotta, Warren's gonna get mad, Warren's gonna get mad. <laughs> no, it was pretty funny, no, seriously, he, he really did do that. And uh, let me take a my, look at my notes. He also has super interesting stories to tell. Like, uh, he told me that he ran into this one dude that he had seen another time that he had gotten locked up another time before. He's an idiot. And, uh, and it was weird though because they ran into each other while they were like using toilets adjacent to one another. Can you imagine how weird that is? Like trying to take a shit, right? Next to a guy. And then the guy makes it more awkward because he's like, we gotta stop running into each other in these shitty situations, man. Uh, how you been, man? You look good. You look good. What you been up to? He also came out like 10 times smarter than before. I mean, you know how they say they read books? This guy read a lot of books while he was in there. And he feels like he has to share the knowledge. It's so funny. So the first weekend he was out, we went to a party. And I asked him to make me a mixed drink. So he does. He makes me a mixed drink, like a good guy. Comes back and he gives it to me. But before he gives it to me, he starts giving me a chemistry lesson. He's like, you might want to mix the drink because the tequila's at the bottom. But eventually the tequila will rise to the top because it's lighter than the squirt. You know the name of the mixed drink tequila sunrise derives from the fact that the tequila will eventually rise. I was like, shut the fuck up, get my drink, man. It was like the fifth science lesson of the day I couldn't take it anymore. I was like, did you learn that in AP chemistry? Advanced prison chemistry? Or did your long lost cellmate teach you that while you guys were taking shits next to each other all day, man? It was fucking terrible. It was super difficult to communicate too because he could only call me through collect, collect calls, right? And I always knew that it was him because I would get that pre-recorded message, you have a collect call from, and then he had like five seconds to say his name. So <laughs> it reminded me back in the day when like we were like super broke, cell phones weren't around, we were teenagers, and my mom would call, or, or we would have to call my mom, right? We would dial down the middle of 100 collect remember that, guys? Remember? And, uh, you know, my mom would get this phone call, you have a collect call from, and be like, Mom, come fix up, please, my credit's over, let me buy it. <laughs> All right, you forgot to tell what field we're at, man! Uh, call her back, call her back before she leaves, call her back, call her back. You have a collect call from, Mom, so sad, I can't get another chicken, I'm gonna buy Did you do that? <laughs> you look like you got a little getaway you had, yeah. <laughs> I know you did that too, um, and we all did that, but what, was, what could I expect them to do? Communicate through short messages like that? <laughs> Man, she really liked it. <laughs> Imagine like the short messages, you know, like, like he would call me, like, you have a collect call from, hey little brother, I'm still alive, I haven't got raped yet, thank you, love you, bye. Getting raped in prison. That's a hot topic. You, we all think that, right? We're like, oh, poor guy, he must have gotten raped. <laughs> Everybody thinks about that, right? So I got super concerned for him, and while he was away, I saw for the first time that movie, American Me. If you haven't seen that movie, it portrays what life is like in prison, and there's a whole lot of butt-fucking that takes place in this movie. 
So I got a little nervous. I was like, Fonzo, what's the situation? Do you know, talk to me, dude. Do you need a therapist? What's going on? And he's like, well, there's only one declared gay guy in here. And I'm like, really? How do you know that? How do you guys know that he's actually gay? And he said, because nobody knows why he's locked up. Every single time that we ask him what he's doing in his prison, he's like, for a good time. <laughs> Last thing I have to share is that uh, when somebody comes out of prison, watch out because their hormones are raging, man. It's funny. We're, uh, we're hanging out on my front porch, right? And he goes, damn, chill. He's like, who's that? Who's that? I'm like, that's my neighbor, dude. And she's 85 years old, you fucking creep. He's like, what? You don't like cougars? You don't like cougars? I go, yeah, yeah, cougars are cool. Some of them are hot. You know? But that's a fucking saber-toothed tiger, man. She's gonna go extinct any second now. No, but on a serious note though, hey Fonzo, I'm super proud of you, man. Um, I'm really uh, really happy the way you bounced back from this. I love you and, and I'm very happy to have you back. Let's, let's give him a round of applause.